Hi, this is Dave Phillippe with FabCAD, and in this lesson, we're going to show you how you can do freehand drawing using CAD. So, one way that may come in handy is if you need to trace over a picture of a design. So, let me insert a photo here, show you how you do that. So, I'm going to take an image from our home page. and open that and just bring it in like so okay so say I want to make a copy of this little piece here a couple of different commands you can use we're going to start using the arc command so I click arc and it's a three-point arc so it prompts you at the bottom here to specify first point so I'm going to specify the first point say it's here I left click then it says at the bottom second point well the second point I'm going to use a photo to guide me with this I'm going to put second point there and then third point and I will just put it say here now you notice one thing the lines are black so why don't we switch that over to a different color so we can see what I'm doing so let's do well, you just type color at the command line and then I'm going to just pick red so it shows up and click OK. So now I'm going to draw an arc again. And I'm going to start, start here and go here. Now you see the red, it shows up better. And then left click there. And then I'll right click to co repeat the command and right click to pick up where I left off. Oops. And I will draw to drag this thing around. See how it follows along there? Right click, right click, right click, right click. Okay, so you can use this to uh, for tracing. You can also, you know, you're doing your own freehand design, like if you want to do a gate top. So let me just draw a line here real quick. Um, let's make this uh, 70. And make this uh, 96. And let's make this 80. All right, I'll move the photograph over. So I could do a arc again to make a swooping gate. So I can do arc from the let me snap, put the endpoint on here. Go from here, take off ortho. When you do freehand. A lot of times you don't want ortho or the snaps, depending on what you're working on. And then I'm just going to pick a second point here. I'm going to have to guess at that. And then click, right click to repeat the command, right click to pick up where I left off. And then I can drop that in there like that. Now, if I want it to be level, I can just click on these two pieces right here and light up these grips. And let me put ortho on so I do it straight. And I can just drag this up. Well, it's level, so it looks like that. And when I did that, I created a little kink in the middle here, so I click on this, and I can take this grip here, take off ortho, though, and the snaps, because I don't want to snap to itself, and then just tweak it a little bit like so. So one thing about it is when you click on these grips, they turn red. It's like simulating forging. Okay, that's cool. All right. And then you can just you can play around and do stuff like that. Now, arcs are one way of doing freehand, you know, design like this. You also have a command called polyline. So, for instance, for drawing scrolls, I could do a polyline starts off in straight line segments, and I could do that in the shape of a scroll like this. and then double click on this and what I do I have options at the bottom and I can click spline and watch what happens it curves it. Is that cool? okay I hit escape and then I click on this and I can adjust this these are using different types of grips the one thing you'll find is the easier an item is to draw like a polyline the harder it is to edit. Arcs take a little bit more work, 
but they're easier to edit. Uh, another command for freehand drawing is spline. So we've got two types. We've got a spline fit and this one here with which has control vertices this one has more versatility so I'll start with this one and I'll pick a point and I'll pick a second point and you'll see it auto it starts curving I can see what's going on I'll just bring this around like so alright and then I can click on this I get these these are these little Grips here called vertices, and I can shape this to what I want. Now, the thing is, if I want to add thickness to this, like if I'm making a scroll, then if I offset this, say uh, 0.5, well, this is real big. And I click on the inside one, you notice there's a lot of extra grips. It's a little harder to do the tweaking with using splines. Alright, so if I were to copy the base of this gate here and use polyline here, and uh, I'll put in, put the snap, go, go to it this way. And and then double click on that and hit spline and then it'll create like that. Now you can hold down your shift key and do multiple grips. And it'll light up sections of it like that. And then you can modify that way. Another way to draw freehand is to click the polyline command again and pick a point and you have an arc option here and then you have direction so say I want to go in this direction and it will do it like so and then I can do something like that and just do all kinds of wild freehand design here alright another thing I can do is with the polyline arc I can click on polyline pick a point, I pick arc, and I also pick width. And it prompts me at the bottom here, starting width. So I'll put in starting width is 1 8th. And the ending width is 0 0.5. And you'll notice there's a taper. Okay. And you can also see how the thing is going to look on the curve. Previews it. And I can just whip this thing on around. Isn't that cool? Just like that. And then when I click on it, I have larger, you see this rectangular grip, so I can do easier to, to modify this one too. I'm going to take the snaps off because it snaps to itself. So let me just, I can tweak it. Like so, and I click on this. Okay. And you've got the arc like that. You can use the stretch command also to tweak these things. You do something like this. Okay. Pretty cool. So, I mean, when you're first starting, you know, it looks kind of easy when I'm doing it here, because you know, I have been doing it for a while. I'll, get, I'll grant you that. But, you know, it's like when you made your first scroll. It wasn't pretty either. So you, you play around with this and just follow the prompts at the command line and watch what's happening up here. And, you know, pretty soon you'll be cranking out all kinds of cool stuff. So if you have any particular design you want to work on, you can just give us a call. We'll be happy to click on from here and show you on your, on your software how to do this and uh, take it from there. So, have fun doing your custom designs. Take care now. Bye.